The way that our minds impact on our bodies is being explored in a lot more depth by Western scientists these days. And it's exciting how Tibetan Buddhist practices are being validated in so many different ways. When it comes to healing in particular, for a long while I've wanted to explore the convergence between East and West. And these are the key themes in my new book, The Secret Mantra. At any one time I have a number of different creative projects on the go, and some years ago I picked late 2020 for the launch of The Secret Mantra. Of course, I had no idea the world was about to be hit by coronavirus. But the synchronicity is intriguing. I can't think of a more timely backdrop for a book that asks questions like, why do some people fall sick and other people don't? Can physical illness be used as a pathway to holistic healing? And what specific psychological practices can be used to complement traditional Western medicine? After all, the words medication and meditation are only one letter different for a very good reason. They both come from the same Latin word medio, meaning to heal or to make whole. As always, I try to package all these themes in a page-turning and entertaining book, and I really hope you enjoy reading The Secret Mantra.